I just wanted uh, to get your thoughts about, you know, when you thought, how interested you thought the Bucks were, and and just the opportunity to come in and uh, and learn behind, you know, the greatest of all time here. Yeah, first of all, I'm just super excited for this opportunity. Um, I had some great conversations with, um, you know, a lot of the offensive coaches um, from the Buccaneers. So I, you know, towards the end of the round when their picks were coming up, you know, I always, you know, figured there was some potential there. Um, and luckily they believed in me enough to give me this opportunity and, you know, they're going to get everything I got. Thanks. Okay, we'll go over to Greg Allman. Hey, Kyle, congratulations. Obviously, you've shown uh, a patience to be a backup when necessary, and obviously you're, you're going to be behind one of the best quarterbacks. Just, just talk about the opportunity you have to learn um, and know you don't really have a real uh, high expectation of playing right away because of who's ahead of you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they definitely have a great system going um, on down there in Tampa Bay, and you know the opportunity to – you know, learn from one of the greats, uh, you know, that I watched growing up has, you know, been one of my favorites. So to have that opportunity uh, is truly remarkable. But, you know, nevertheless, I'm going to come in and, you know, work my tail off and do whatever I can to help this team. Thanks, Cal. We'll go over to Jenna Lane. Jenna? Okay, we'll go over to Mark Cook. Hey, Kyle, congratulations on being drafted tonight. Um, when when you read some of the things that critics maybe um, are concerned about with you coming into the NFL, I think the number one thing is arm strength. Obviously, the Buccaneers felt your arm is just as uh, good as it needs to be. But just talk about that. Um, you know, is that something that you can work on? Is that something you're even concerned about? Uh, just talk about some of the critics and some of the things that and maybe even some of the shots people have taken at you to, to get to this point. Well, I mean, first things first, I think I've showed that on film that I can make every single throw on the field. And I don't think, you know, arm strength is necessarily one of the uh, huge, uh, you know, weaknesses of mine. But of course, you know, I'm always looking to get better. and I'm always, you know, trying to get bigger, faster, stronger. Um, but I think that, you know, I have plenty of arm strength to, you know, make all the throws there is to make in the NFL. Thank you. All right, we're going to try Jenna Lane again. So sorry about that, Kyle. Technology issues. Um, congratulations to you. I'm just wondering, throughout this process, how comfortable did you feel with the Bucks, and and you know how sure were you that that you thought that that might be a destination for you, or were you really not sure? Yeah, I definitely wasn't 100 percent sure about anything because just because I know how crazy the draft can be, I was trying to uh, you know keep a very open mind and you know just. I was super excited when the Bucs um, – I saw that Tampa, Florida number call me. Um, it was feeling like no other. You know, they were one of my my most favorite teams, um, you know, throughout this entire process. And, you know, when I saw that Tampa Bay, Florida, uh, man, it was just – it was unbelievable. What, what made Tampa Bay one of your favorite teams throughout this process? I just think that, you know, the organization's in a great spot right now and, you know, I just got along so great with all of the offensive coaches um, and all the Zooms and, you know, being able to, you know, talk with them at Pro Day and things like that along the way. Um, so I'm just really looking forward to, you know, getting started and, you know, putting in that work and doing whatever I can to help the team. Congrats. Thank you. We're going to go over to Edgar Thompson. Edgar. Kyle, congrats. What's up? Thank you. Um, how much uh, are you looking forward to working with Tom Brady? If you weren't asked that, I got in about two minutes late. Um, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean he's definitely you know one of my you know favorite quarterbacks you know growing up. So to have that opportunity to learn you know a lot of you know knowledge from one of the greats is a great opportunity for me. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to you know get this ball rolling for sure. And being staying in Florida, what what's that going to be like? Because you certainly got a lot of fans in this state at this point after your career. 
Right. Uh, staying in Florida is amazing. I mean, I, I loved my time at the University of Florida and to have the opportunity to you know, continue my career right down the road uh, is amazing. Um, you know, I love the state of Florida. I'm glad I get to stay there for now. Awesome. Thanks, Kyle. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to go back to Rick Stroud. Any media with questions, please raise your hand. Kyle, you obviously can make all the throws, but is your uh, one of your better abilities just just your ability to read things out, understand offenses, uh, uh, you know, be that quick twitch guy to get the ball out to the right people? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, to have that that um, decisiveness to get the ball out of your hands and know what to do um, and the ability to read defenses. But overall, I think all those things you listed just comes from preparation. And I think that's one thing that really helped me excel at the college level is, you know, the amount of time and, um, you know, effort I put into my preparation. So whenever I'm out there on Saturdays, I was able to know exactly what to do with the ball. And, and you know, other quarterbacks came off the board before you that you competed against, even beat. I mean, I'm just curious what you thought. Did you, did you think that you might last to the second round or – did you feel like you were underdrafted and probably belong, you know, in there sooner? Yeah, I mean, I don't really have, you know, much to say about that because I know, you know, I was just trying to keep an open mind. You know, I know I can only control what I can control, and I was going to be happy with whatever opportunity that I was given. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Go back to Greg Allman. Hey, Kyle, if you can, just take us to, to what you're doing right now, just the celebration of who you had there and who you got to talk to to find out the good news. Yeah, so um, I got my family here, uh, my girlfriend, my brother, mom, dad, uh, some family members. So you know, we're, after this, go you know celebrate the moment uh, for the night, and then um, we'll find out what's next. I'm sure we'll have to you know get to work soon. Thanks, Kyle. Yes, sir. We'll go over to Mark Cook. We have time for a few more. Well, um, obviously in a college football season, I don't know how much time you have to spend watching the NFL, but were you able to watch the Buccaneers much this year? How familiar are you with um, what Bruce Arians likes to do offensively and, and even Byron Leftwich? Yeah, I got the opportunity to, you know, watch them a lot. Luckily, you know, being in Gainesville, Florida, you know, the, the local channels were playing the Tampa Bay game. So I did watch them quite a bit and I really like what they do on offense. And that's why I just seemed like such a great fit in my mind. Um, just the style of play and, you know, the, the personality and the character of the players and the coaches. Um, and I just think it, there's a lot of great people in the building right now. Obviously I'm not there yet, but just, you know, from outside of looking at, it just seems like a organization in the right spot. So I'm really excited to get started and um, learn as much football as I can. Thank you. We'll go over to Jenna Lane. Hey, Kyle. We, we talked to a lot of Bucks players about this last year, young guys who kind of drew, grew up dreaming of, of being like Tom Brady and they had posters of him on their walls. And, and it was pretty surreal for a lot of them when they finally got to meet him and, and play with him and practice with him and everything. Uh, what's that first meeting going to be like for you, you know, when you guys uh, are in the facility together and out on the practice field together? I mean, I don't know yet. Uh, I'm sure it'll be pretty surreal. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, most of all, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, the amount of, you know, knowledge that and I can just, you know, absorb from being in the same room as him. So I just, you know, I can't wait to get to work. Thanks. We'll close out with one question from Zach Goodall and one from Josh Allen. Hey, Kyle, uh, congrats. I'm excited to continue covering your football journey here in Tampa Bay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, you're 23 years old. You've got five years of college experience, but I mean, you're still technically a young quarterback. You have less than two years starting experience in college. So how do you feel that at the next level with Tom Brady, with Bruce Arians, you can still continue to improve? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's, that was a big you know, question mark that people had on me in college. And I feel like I proved them all wrong. You know, everyone said I hadn't started for a long time. And then I went in on the biggest stage and played at a high level. Um, I feel, you know, very confident in my ability to play on any stage. And I'm just continuing to, you know, work out and, you know, learn the game and for, further my knowledge. So I'm sure, like, this transition, obviously the speed of the game is going to be faster. But, you know, I'm sure I'll be able to handle it and, 
once I get to work and just get this ball rolling, um, everything will be good. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. And we'll close out with one from Josh Allen. Hey, Cal, congratulations. How are we doing? Doing good. Uh, so the last time we spoke was at your pro day, and you, you know you had said that you've spoken to the the Bucks coaches and staff multiple times. They were down there at your pro day. When did it really kind of set in that you know the Buccaneers could be a po- potential possibility of a team that would draft you? And just kind of explain you know your emotions right now, being able to learn from Tom, learn from not just him but the coaching staff of a Byron Leftwich, Bruce Arians, Tom Moore, Clyde Christensen, and how much communication did you have with those guys as a whole? Yeah, well, I mean, throughout this whole entire draft process, there's only a limited amount of times that, you know, they can really contact you. But um, I definitely had a a feeling that they were interested, um, you know, probably I'd say about a month ago when, you know, a lot of the Zoom started ramping up. You know, I was on Zoom calls with, you know, Leftwich and the GM and things like that. Um, So that's when, you know, when I saw, you know, Tampa roll around every time their name would pop up in the draft. I was just, you know, kind of, you know, checking my phone because I knew that there was potential interest there. And luckily, you know, they had that faith in me. And, you know, as far as, you know, my my feelings right now, is just um, it's totally surreal for me. And I'm just trying to, you know, soak it all in, enjoy the moment. And uh, once this is done, just get back to the grind. Awesome. That's what, all we have for you tonight, Kyle. Appreciate the time. All right. I appreciate it. Have a good one.